guys, it's Miss Carissa. I just wanted to get on and say that I miss seeing you guys at school and your smiling faces, but I hope that you guys are having lots of fun at home with your families. Today I will be reading you um, one of my favorite books. It's called Hedgehog Needs a Hug. Um, hedgehogs are one of my favorite animals, and hugs I love to give and receive because it makes me feel better sometimes. Do you guys like getting hugs? Raise your hand if you like getting hugs. All right, are you guys ready to read? And then at the very end of our video, I will introduce you guys to one of my favorite friends. I know some of our classes do parts of a book, but not all of our classes do, so we're going to skip it today. But here is our front cover, and it's called Hedgehog Needs a Hug, is our title. Are you guys ready? When Hedgehog awoke in his cozy nest, he fell down in the snout and droopy in the prickles. I'll tell better if I get a hug, he thought. Hedgehog poked his nose in the sunshine and toddled towards Rabbit's grassy den. Rabbit, I need a hug. Will you give me one? he asked. I'm sorry, Hedgehog. Rabbit backed away slowly. Um, I have the sniffles. I'm afraid I will give you a cold if I hug you, she said. And hippity skippity scram, she was gone. Ah, choo! echoed out of the den. Poor Rabbit, thought Hedgehog. Hedgehog wandered across the clearing to the hollow log where Raccoon slept. Raccoon, I need a hug. Will you give me one? he asked. I'm sorry, Hedgehog. Raccoon ducked back into the shadows. Um, I'm afraid I have the most frightful garbage breath. You don't want to come near me, he exclaimed. And he scuffled, scooped, scraped into the dark of his log. I don't mind garbage breath, Hedgehog called, but Raccoon was gone. Hedgehog trudged over to Turtle's sun-soaked resting spot. Turtle? Zzz, that means he's sleeping. Never mind, Hedgehog sighed, and then he shuffled away. Hedgehog didn't see anyone else to ask. Was there no one who would hug him? I'm so sorry no one will hug you, drawled Fox, sly sliding slinking over. I'm not afraid of your spines, little hedgehog. I'll even give you a big kiss. Ow! Hedgehog scurried into the bush. He shuddered, thinking of Fox's sharp teeth. He was very tired of asking for hugs. Maybe he should just go home. Then, Hedgehog heard soft sobs coming from the clearing behind his bush. What's the matter, skunk? Hedgehog asked, keeping his distance. I, no one will give me a hug, and I feel so blue, she, skunk said. Hedgehog took a deep breath, and he tip patted patted closer to skunk. I feel blue too, skunk. I will give you a hug. Skunk looked at Hedgehog's sprinkles, then she slowly opened her arms. Very gently, Hedgehog gave her a hug. And they both felt better. The end. So guys, I hope that you guys are having lots of fun with your families. I know that um, your teachers, and I miss you guys, we love you guys. Um, send us pictures of you guys being safe and respectful and responsible while you guys are at home right now. And um, please give your families a big hug for us and hug yourselves for us too. And we will see you next time. Oh, I forgot. Are you guys ready to meet my friend? All right, here we go. This is Sammy the Hedgehog. Sammy, say hello. Hello, friends. Sammy, we just read a book about you. I had heard and I got a hug, my favorite. All right, guys, we will see you next time. Say, so can you say bye?